you know, you can only have those microwavable meals so many times until your palate just decides it's going to go on strike. Well, what if we said when you're at home using just the stuff you probably already have in your pantry and all that frozen meat you've been hoarding, you could make something <laughs> pretty delicious. <laughs> Well, joining us now to make something super delicious is a real chef. He is Sean Griffin, executive chef of Jean George Steakhouse inside the Aria. Thrilled to have you, and thank you for inviting us inside your kitchen this morning. Well, thanks for joining me in my kitchen this morning. It's pretty cool. I like the setup there. It looks nice. Oh, thank you very much. So we got, uh, you know, it's a during the the quarantine. I think about you know like mixing things up, you know having a you know binge watching tv and having some junk food and also trying to eat healthy at the same time and every once in a while you got to splurge a little bit so i wanted to share a uh, recipe for a one pan steak dish that uh, comes together really easy a lot of ingredients that you already have in your home onion or shallot mushrooms uh, some different steak sauces uh, lee and perrin's tabasco uh, cream, Dijon mustard, or uh, or any kind of mustard that you have, and uh, it's a one pan kind of cooking deal. Awesome. Or how do we get started? What do we do? Great. So we're gonna turn on our flame. You want to get your pan nice and hot. And uh, first thing is we have a steak. So I'm using a uh, filet mignon, whatever kind of steak you want to use. Uh, New York steak, ribeye. Uh, this one's pretty thin. I do it like that because uh, this is a steak Diane and uh, dates way back to the 1940s uh, in New York City. And this is a dish that the servers used to come up to the table and prepare table side. So it was a uh, one shot kind of cooking dill. So we're going to season up with some salt and pepper. Notice how, oh, by the way, not, you're not being stingy with the salt and pepper. You're making it count. Mm. <laughs> you got to season. You got to season everything. Salt brings out all that flavor. That's Little why I'm so touch salty. of oil. Yes. <laughs> what kind of oil are you using, by the way? Uh, this is just a neutral oil. I like to use grapeseed oil. Okay. Uh, if you've got uh, canola oil, uh, rapeseed oil, uh, uh, peanut oil, if you don't have an allergy, all work great it's with a high smoke point. And then we're going to take a touch of butter. And add mm. that as well. And butter's gonna create that uh, that nice caramelization going on. Butter. butter, like bacon, makes nothing worse. Yep. <laughs> We're gonna just wait for this pan to get sizzling. Now, what, what kind of pan do you use? Because I, I was convinced I had to get the really, really, really like nice, fancy, super expensive stuff. But uh, I find that chefs well, don't you, play that game. Well, you don't need fancy it's good to have a thick uh i guess you don't want those really flimsy thin pans because then yeah, they yeah. have hot spots on them and it tends to burn but i, I this one's a nice you know affordable pan it's a thicker bottom on it though so now we're getting a little bit of sizzle going on so we're gonna add our steak sean as you laid that steak in there do you have your stove right now on medium or high or where are you at well we're not going to cook this in or the uh, the flame you mean yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Yes. So the, the flames on high okay. and, uh, it's, uh, especially with some, uh, some of the stoves you have in your house, you want to make sure you get that, that really nice and hot when you first put your steak in, because you're going to get the caramelization on the, uh, on the beef. Uh, if it's not hot enough, it's going to turn out to, you're not going to get that deep, uh, rich flavor from the uh, caramelization. So at least start off with a really hot fire. Once you turn it over, if you've got a thicker steak, you can either pop it in the oven or else turn that flame down to like medium, even medium low and continue cooking till the desired temperature. We're going to go for a, uh, like a medium rare on the steak today. Of course. When, when, now, when somebody orders a Jean-Georges over at uh, Aria, when somebody orders well done, does it anger you? <laughs> oh, we, uh, we ask them to leave. <laughs> I'm just joking. No, <laughs> you know what? <laughs> you know what? Any, uh, whatever you want is, uh, we're happy to do it. And I think that's part of, uh, you know, being a chef and being a professional. What we do is, you know, you give you give the guests what they want. You know, they're they're Even in a nice wrong. restaurant, yeah. and if you know, yeah, if, if they want well done, we uh, we give them the best well done we can. There we go. Oh, that's good. 
no, Sean, we have just about a minute left. I have a few a few questions as well. Um, can you break it down for me, simple style? How many minutes on each side? And I know that's that's a little bit relative, but sure, it's uh, about uh, a minute and a half on the first side, and then you flip it. And uh, another, it depends on how you want it. If you want it medium rare, you're going to cook it for another minute and a half, two minutes, especially if the steak is thin. Um, otherwise, uh, just keep it going until the, till the temperature that you want it at. Awesome. And you just kind of went around the pantry and saw what was inside your, uh, your vegetable crisper in, the, uh, in the, uh, the, the, the fridge, and you're just adding a whole bunch of stuff. Well, you know what? Uh, one of the things I really, uh, one of our uh, vegetable fairs uh, is called Freshly Foraged Produce. They give me a uh, basket of fresh uh, fruits and vegetables, which I think you can see right Look there, that. maybe. Nice. Right there. Oh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, so once a week, uh, it really provides some inspiration on on uh, what I do. So, like, the, the shallots, the, the garlic, even. Um, are all from them, and they also got some great uh, snap peas right now, potatoes, carrots, whatever it is, and it helps out the uh, the small to mid sized um, organic farmers as yeah. well during this time. So nice. it's, it's it's good all the way around. It's awesome. John, thank so you we got so the, much. Uh, onion. It's delicious. Oh, you're welcome. Really quickly, thank what you. else will we add to this before we go? We're gonna add a little bit of cognac, some cream. We're just going to reduce that cream down, a touch of butter, or a touch of uh, Dijon mustard. Okay. And then just season it up with a little bit of heat from Tabasco and some Liam Perrin. Oh, how happy is your girlfriend right now to be stuck in uh, in the house with a freaking chef full time? This is <laughs> there are worse places to be. All right. Well, she doesn't. She doesn't need a whole lot of beef. But oh I no. <laughs> Well, that's more for you. That's okay. Well, we try we try to eat on the uh, on the healthier side yeah. for the most good part. For how's, then, how's that working uh, out for you right now? It's a little more uh, challenging. Not good. It? Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I find uh, I've I've lost Especially, weight, but it's definitely uh, muscle weight. I guarantee it. Oh, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> You've gained some stomach weight. Oh, I I just I've just I just feel fluffier. <laughs> right on. You're still cool, so I can go ahead and plate this thing? Uh, yes, yeah. let's do it. There we go. And then if you could okay, just hold so... it real close to the camera, please. Actually, yeah, well, here, here, what, here's, you can plate it, and then you can bring the, uh, the camera closer, and we can get a nice, good look for everyone that's watching Sounds on our website good. right now. There oh, you go. Oh, look at that. Look at the sauce. Oh, Come on now. oh yes. wow. Come on. Is that broccoli on the side, it's... too? So that's some, uh, yeah, some uh, broccoli and some potatoes. And the potatoes are real simple. Just cooked them in a little bit of water, thyme, garlic, because uh, the beef is oh. roasted. And uh, so it's, it goes really well together. And we'll finish oh. off a little bit of chives on there. Oh, chives. Like yes, that. yes, yes. Yeah, but Sean, well, so have you ever had healthy right choice? Because I'm telling you, it's really good. Oh, gross, <laughs> John. Oh, oh yes, look at that. Oh, What's that? Like that? Like that. Love it. Bravo, chef. Oh, honey. Oh, God. All good? Else, please? Love it. Love okay, it. let me pass it through the oh, pass Could it you please? The I, I, yes. Oh, torture. Do you live in Mountain's Edge I'll by any chance? <laughs> <laughs> Southern Highlands. Ah, that's I'll close. Leave it oh, your doorstep. That's that is close. <laughs> If you put that on your doorstep, Sean and I will race there to get it. Here we go. It's about the halfway <laughs> point between us. Uh, Chef, it's Very great awesome. having you, buddy. 